Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to remove the unit productions in CFG. So in the previous sessions, we have discussed about the simplification of CFG. So how can we simplify the CFG? So in that we have seen, we have to remove the useless productions and then null productions and a unit productions. So in the previous sessions, we have discussed about the first two things that is how can we remove the null productions and how can we remove the useless productions. Now we'll go with the unit productions. So removal of unit productions. First, let us know about this unit production. So, which production we call it as a unit production? Then we can see the procedure. How can we uh, remove this unit production? So, we know that production will be having the left hand side uh, followed by the right hand side, and the left hand side will be the non terminal. Left hand side will be the non terminal, and the right hand side can be uh, a combination. Okay, combination of uh, terminal and non-terminal right and if the LHS and RHS both are non-terminals so we know that this is a uh, non-terminal always the LHS will be the non-terminal and if the right hand side is also a single non-terminal a single non-terminal then we call it as a unit production for example some S tends to A. So here on the LHS we are having the single non-terminal and the RHS also we are having the single non-terminal. So these type of cases we call it as a unit productions. Right? So if the production is like this S tends to A A. So this is not a unit production because on the right hand side we are having a terminal and a non-terminal. A combination of terminal and non-terminal. Similarly S tends to a B. So this is also not a unit production because on the right hand side we are having a two non-terminals. So we call the production as a unit production. So this is a unit production. So if the LHS and RHS are having a single non-terminals, so that's uh, such cases we will call it as a unit productions. So we need to identify these unit for unit productions in the CFG, and if they are available, then we need to remove those unit productions. So how can we remove uh, remove the unit productions means? So the removal can be done by substitutions. So substituting. Okay, just by substitutions we can remove the unit productions. Right? Substituting the non-terminal with that particular production. So I will tell you an example so that you will be understanding that. Right. See, let us take this example. So this is a CFG. And we can first we need to find the unit productions. So you can observe here, S tends to 0, A, both are non-terminals, so this is not a unit production. And here 1, B, so more than one variable is there, so this is not a, a unit production. And this is C, so S tends to C. So in this case, you can observe here, the left hand side and the right hand side, we are having a single non-terminal, so this is a unit production in our CFG. Coming to the second production, A tends to 0, S and 0, 0. Both are uh, in CFG, not a uh, unit productions. And V tends to 1. That means V tends to 1. 1 is nothing but a terminal. So you need not uh, consider this as a unit production. And B tends to A. Yes. So B tends to A. There is a one more unit production. Because here also you can observe here, both the LHS and RHS are the non-terminals. A single non-terminal. So C tends to 0, 1, both are terminals. So this is not a unit production. So in our CFG, we are having the two unit productions. So we need to remove these two unit productions, right? So how can we remove the unit productions? So find out, is there any terminal available for this production or not? So you can observe here, S tends to C. So C tends to 0, 1, which is nothing but a terminal. So simply replace this S tends to C as S tends to 0, 1, C tends to 0, 1. Okay, so hope you understood. S tends to C is a unit production, and we are having a production C tends to 0, 1, which is nothing but the terminal. So simply give the terminal for both the non terminals. So S tends to 0, 1, and C tends to 0, 1. 
Now, after getting this one, you can see S tends to so 0a, 1b, and now 0, 1. So, simply, other in other words, simply we are substituting the C terminal with, I mean, uh, at the place of the non terminal C. So, we are replacing the non terminal C with the given production. So, 0, 1 is replacing here. So, now you can observe there is no unit production. So, you can simply avoid this unit production. And similarly, coming to the B tends to A. B tends to A. So, you can observe here A is having 0, S and 0, 0. Right? So, here we are not having any unit terminal. So, simply you can write, uh, sorry, first I will write A, A tends to, A is having some 0, S and 0, 0. So, you can simply replace B tends to 0, S. Okay? Uh, and 0, 0 and A tends to 0, S and 0, 0. Just we are assigning the same value to A. Replacing, right? Substituting. Now you can observe here A tends to 0, S and 0, 0. That's common. There is no unit production. Now coming to here, uh, B tends to 1 and we are just removing the unit production A with this one. So 0, S, 0, 0. Right? And automatically C tends to 0, 1. So, this is the simplification of CFG by removing the unit productions. So, this is the CFG we are having. So, in this we are having two unit productions S tends to C and B tends to A. So, we are just removing. That means we are substituting the C production here and we are substituting A production here. So, directly we are writing the this one and in this result you can find there is no unit productions. Right? So, this is how we have to remove the unit productions. So, we will go move on with the another example and we will close. Right. So, let us consider the second example. So, this is the productions in CFG. So, we need to find out the unit productions. You can see the first one, S yes, tends to AC. So, right hand side we are having more than one non-terminal. So, this is not a unit production. And A tends to A which is a terminal. This is not a unit production. And C tends to B. So, C tends to B. So, on left hand side and right hand side we are having a single non terminal. So, this will be the unit production. And C tends to D. Again, it is a terminal, not a unit production. And B tends to D. Yes. So, B tends to D. Again, this is a unit production. And D tends to E. This is a unit production. And E tends to B is not a unit production because B is a non terminal. Now, in our CFG, we are having a three unit productions and we need to remove these three unit productions. So, coming to here, this one, consider this one, D tends to E, and we know that E tends to B, such that we can simply assign D tends to B and E tends to B, right? Next, coming to B tends to D. Right? Coming to B, B tends to D. Now, you can observe here, from this above production, D tends to B, so, simply we can write uh, B tends to B and D tends to B, right? Now, we will go with the C tends to B, C tends to B. From the above uh, equation, we know that B tends to B, right? Simply you can write C tends to B and uh, B tends to B, right? We are just assigning the same value for the two non-terminals, okay? So, in this case, D tends to E, we know that E is pointing towards the not I mean terminal B. So we are applying the B for both the non terminals, and here also D is having a terminal production. So we are applying the same terminal for both the non terminals B and D, right? Here also the same thing. Now you can observe here. So just replace it. So S tends to AC, A tends to A, and C tends to instead of B, right? Instead of B, we can write a B. So, B or a D. And you can observe B tends to D means B. And D tends to E. E means B. And E tends to B. Now, you can observe here we are changing the context free grammar, this complete uh, CFG, to the CFG without, uh, I mean, simplifying the CFG by removing the unit productions. Here you can find, find I mean, here you can find that there is no unit productions. But, you can observe here, so S is a start symbol and from S we can have only A, C. Okay, so there is no use of these productions. 
right so we will never use these productions in any deriving in any string right so der derivation of any string we are not able to use these three productions because the start symbol can have only the non terminals a c so a is having some terminals and c is having some terminals so always it will be having only a and c non terminals so there is no use of these terminals so these are called useless productions which we have already covered in the previous session right so i will i will post the link in the description section please go go through that how to remove the null productions and how to remove the useless productions right so these are the useless productions and simply you can remove these productions so the final simplification of c uh, cmg is s tends to ac a tends to a and c tends to b or d so this is the simplified cfg for given cfg okay for this cfg this is a simplified cfg right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubt regarding this removal of unit productions feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much